Hi, my name is Dex from MyConsult and since 2003, actually we have been helping business owners simplify their accounting systems. So if you'd like to support us to create more contents, do like and subscribe today, alright? So in today's video, we will be actually looking at a new feature that SQL has recently added. This module is called the Fixed Asset Module. So before you can use this, you will need to contact your existing dealer or feel free to contact us to purchase this module, alright? So once you actually activate this module, the first thing you need to do is to set up your fixed asset groupings, okay? So to, before we can actually do this, we need to come to your general ledger first. We need to come to your maintained accounts, okay? So first of all, we must create our non-current asset account codes. So we have things like your cost and your accumulated depreciation. Next, we need to scroll down so to your PL items. So first thing that we will need to do, let me open this speaker. We will need to have your gain on loss on disposal. So if you dispose your fixed asset, whether you earn money or lose money, okay? So second thing that you need to do is to make sure that you have already created your depreciation of fixed assets, okay? So once all this is done, we can create. Now we can create our fixed asset groupings. So all you just need to do is come here to assets, Come to maintain asset group okay so let's say we want to create a uh, furniture and fixtures already available so let's create a motor vehicles right so we just press new we press mv all right and then here we have motor vehicles okay so currently sql accounting fixed asset module allows us to do a straight line depreciation method okay most likely they will actually introduce other uh, depreciation method like reducing balance okay so currently only straight line method next we need to assign and link it together so fix asset here we will find here motor vehicle okay accumulated depreciation we also find the accumulated depreciation motor vehicle then from here you will need to hit our PL item called depreciation of fixed asset and for my gain and loss i put disposal then i will gain or loss on disposal same for this gain or loss on disposal so normally for me i would not recommend two different account codes because it's very rare we actually dispose assets every single year all right so once you're done we just press save Alright, so now after we actually set up our fixed asset groupings, now we are ready to set up all the individual items, okay? So just now the asset groupings is actually to assign to the proper account code. So now we want to split it into the individual fixed asset items, right? So we come here to maintain asset item. Okay, so let's say today I want to create a new car. We purchase a say Toyota Camry. So we just press new. So for us, I can use a code, the system can generate a code or some people or some of our clients would like it to be their car number plate, let's say VBS8888 and here will be Toyota Camry, okay? So other than that, the things that we need to set is we need to make sure that we have assigned it to the correct category, so say motor vehicle and then this is all not compulsory you can actually put in your date of acquire, so 8 of May, and then let's say example my value is 130,000, so I put 130,000, okay, and then I said this car can last 5 years, okay, so the system will be based on a 20% uh, depreciation rate, and at the end of the 5 years, it's only worth 1 ringgit, alright. So the next thing that you know, we actually have things like supplier invoice number. You have to take note, even though we created this fixed asset item, it will not hit or it will not have any double entry impact on your PL and balance sheet, alright? So this is just for reference purposes, okay? And then let's say example the car is 1, right? So down here, the system will also calculate for you what is the depreciation schedule that um, the fixed asset will be running through, alright? So what happens is you can have uh, access to either depreciate on a monthly, quarterly, half yearly or yearly. So for this example, let's say I want to depreciate it on a monthly level. So I press monthly and I press generate. Okay. So system will then come up with a table of the depreciation. Right. So apart from that, right, the system also allows you to assign to project. So if for companies that actually do project reporting, you can assign a certain percentage of the depreciation into the individual projects. Okay. Other than that, also things like photos of the fixed asset, 
and also attachments so you can attach files like pdf excel file uh example like if it's a car you can insert things like your higher purchase agreement your bank loan details all inside here automatically right so this is actually how easy it is to set up a new fixed asset inside sql accounting okay if you have any guides you would like us to cover please leave in the comment below thank you